Hi there, and welcome to All Rats. Today we're going to be talking about what to do when a pet rat escapes and how to get them safely back to their cage. Picture this, you wake up and like every morning, go to your rat's cage to say good morning to your little angels and give them some treats and lovies. You count one, two rats, but where's your third one? They usually come running to the front like your other two, but they're nowhere to be seen today. Losing one of their loved pets in this way is every rat owner's nightmare and a fairly common occurrence. As our rodent friends are very smart and incredible escapees, we've compiled this list of 10 steps to follow for preparing to locate and locating your pet rat and three ways to catch them and return them safely to their cage. The first three steps should be done before you start your search. So close up the cage and do these immediately. First, you want to make sure anything dangerous to your rat is put away out of a loose rat's reach. This includes rat and mouse poison, rat and mouse traps, cleaning chemicals they can get to, or anything else that can harm them by ingesting it. Also, if you have other animals like cats or dogs, lock them up in a kennel while you search. If you have other caged animals like ferrets or birds, double check that they are secure as well. Halt use of appliances if you are unsure of where your rat is, as they could be hiding in washing or drying machines, pipes, or other appliances where they could be harmed or killed by their use. Also, check couches or beds before you sit on them, as rats chew and could be hiding in the couch cushions or mattress. Step number two is containment. Block all exits to the outside or other rooms. Close doors, block off stairs, basically segment your house, apartment, or room to make it easier to search for your loose rat without feeling like they're just moving through the house evading you. If you know the room your rat is in, this is an easy step as you'll simply need to make sure they don't leave that room. The last step before you begin your search is to make sure they have access to food and water. If you aren't sure if they escaped outside, put some outside in a safe covered spot for them as well so they can stay safe from predators. Ideally, you'll find them within 24 hours. However, it can sometimes take days or longer to find a lost rat. I've even heard stories of people's rats showing up as long as a month after they went missing. You'll want to make sure they have access to fresh water and plenty of food until you can get them safely home. Now that the house is prepped for our lost friend, we're ready to start looking. For our fourth step, we go back to the beginning. Oftentimes when I can't find a rat, they are hiding on or in the cage. Especially if your rats have lived in their cage a while, it's home to them, so they will usually stick around. If you have bedding that is deep, dig around move their hides, and make sure your missing rat isn't hiding in plain sight, or worst case scenario, has passed and is hidden in the bedding or a hide. Next, search around the cage. My rats like to give me many heart attacks by hiding on the bottom grate of their critter nation or in the space between the bottom of the cage and their bottom tub during free roam time. Especially when they were newer and not as bonded to us, there were multiple times I thought I lost them only to find them hiding in plain sight. There have been a few times where I opened the cage to pet my rats, forgot to close the cage door, came back two hours later, sure all my rats were gone, and all of them were still happily sleeping in their cage. Throughout the searching process, come back to the cage often, as your rat will likely want to return to their mischief if they are already bonded. For step number five, we search the common areas. Do a general search of every room and look for signs that your rat has been there. If you know that the rat has a favorite spot or spots in the house, search those first. For example, our wandering rat Willow loves our closets. When she escapes her free roam area and goes adventuring, I know to check our back closet first and if that fails, our front closet. She likes to keep her food stash there. Step number six. Listen, try to be as quiet as possible and walk through the house with the lights off. With the lights off, 
your rat will likely feel more comfortable to move around. Be careful to move carefully and quietly, as sudden movement or noise will cause most rats to freeze. If you are pretty sure you know the room your rat is in, put some smelly treats in a paper bag and put that bag in a spot your rat will feel comfortable accessing, like under a couch or bed. Sit quietly for five or 10 minutes to give your rat a chance to find the treats. Repeat in each suspected room as needed. Not all rats will go for the treats. If your rat is especially suspicious or nervous, you may need to move on to step number seven. Start looking in the non-common areas. Even if you don't think your rat would ever be there, check it. This means dressers, inside of the couch, in the cabinets, small holes in the wall. Ask yourself if it's possible your rat could be there. If the answer is yes, check it. Rats can fit through incredibly tiny holes. The rule is, if their head can fit through it, so can they. One time we accidentally ordered the wrong add-on for a rat's cage and got the cage with the one inch spacing between the bars. I thought, oh well, there's no way my fully grown rat can get through those bars. I looked away for a second and when I looked back, Buttons had gone from being inside the cage to scaling her way down the outside of it. That being said, check all the small spaces because if they fits, they get through the space. If you think they may have gotten through a small space or hole in the wall and made it outside, it is important to find them as quickly as possible as being loose outside makes them highly susceptible to being found by predators. Moving on to step number eight, you may want to swap up the times of the day you're searching for your rat. Rats are cripsunal, which means they're basically nocturnal, sleeping for most of the day. If you are searching during the day, your rat may be asleep in your dresser or the wall or any of the other little hidey places he's found. If your rat has found a really good hiding place to sleep during the day, it will be virtually impossible to find him during this time. So searching in the middle of the night will greatly increase your chances of finding him. If you're still having trouble finding your loose rat, there are still a couple things to try. Step number nine can help pin down the location of where your rat has made his home away from home. Put a pile of treats near where you think your rat might be and spread a thin layer of flour a foot or two around the pile of treats. If your rat comes and takes some of the treats, they will leave a track and you will be able to see the direction they came from and went, hopefully leading to their hiding place. The problem with this method is if you live in a place where you have wild mice or rats in your home, it may be hard to tell whether the tracks are your rats or the wild rodents. Step number 10 in locating your pet rat is getting a motion sensor camera or two. If you already own one, I recommend just setting this up earlier but by setting one up near the rat's cage or near where you think your rat may be, you can check footage in the morning to see if there was any movement at night and move the camera from room to room until you catch something. Ideally, by this point, you've located where your rat is in your home or outside and are ready to catch them and get them back safely in their cage. Step one in catching your rat, try calling them to you. With rats who are more bonded with their owners, they'll come to a kissy noise or their name. These rats are very easy to locate and catch, like our rat Willow, who will come bounding to us from across the apartment when we call her name. If they just aren't convinced to come to you when you call them, we move on to step two, bribes. Rats tend to like food and will willingly come to accept some yummy treats from your hand. Keep in mind, sometimes it can take a while for them to decide whether it's worth it to come out from their safe space, even for food, especially if they've been loose a while. Our rat Buttons got under the couch when she was young and not yet bonded with us, and I had to lay on my stomach with my hand stretched out with some yummy Cheerios, some of her favorite treats, for over an hour before she finally decided it was safe to come to me. If one treat doesn't work, try switching it up and use a nice smelly treat like tuna or cooked chicken. Step number three, which should be used as step number one if your rat has escaped outside, is setting up a live trap. Make sure it's a safe live trap and size appropriate so it can contain your rat once it's caught. If you set up a live trap outside, set it up near where you think your lost rat may be 
whether that be under the house or porch, in a shed, the garden, etc. Put it in a place that's easily accessible by the rat, but somewhat isolated from predators. For example, don't put it in the middle of your yard where the rat has to journey across an open, unprotected space to get to the trap. Check the trap often, as being trapped in an unknown space can be very stressful for your rat. Once you catch your rat, if your rat has been outside or been loose for a while, it's a good idea to take them to your local vet to get checked out, as you want to be sure they haven't contracted any diseases from wild rodents while loose. Once you feel it's safe to return them to their friends, or if they've only been on a few day joy ride around the house, return them to their cage with access to food, fresh water, and plenty of hidey spaces to help them feel comfortable. They will likely be stressed from their adventure, so give them some time in their familiar environment with the rest of the rats to adjust back to normal. To prevent escapees in the future, check the cage regularly for any possible escape routes. When bringing home new rats, keep them in a secure carrier that remains closed until you are home. I am guilty of opening the carrier the first time we brought our first two home on the ride home to give them little treats and little scratchies, but I no longer do this. It just isn't worth it to have the chance of them escaping in the car. I've heard too many horror stories of baby rats escaping and then never being found, even after searching everywhere in the car. The reality is, if they escape in the car, they can make it outside pretty easily. And as you aren't bonded with them yet, and they don't see your home as their home, there's little chance they'll stick around. Sadly, not all lost rats are found, but it is ultimately up to you how long you search for. Some rats are found almost immediately, and some show up after you've given up hope, and some are never seen again or are found too late. I truly hope the information in this video will help you find your lost rat as quickly as possible and return him or her safely to their home. To make sure you don't miss any great rat content, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram at All Rats Mischief, which I'll link in the description below for you. Thank you for visiting All Rats, and we hope you have a ratastic day.